Okay, what's new this week? I'm going to keep talking about the most important thing happening since mid-September last year. Uh, the Fed had to step in and, and, and combat the repo crisis, which came directly from them selling off their bonds in 2018, draining reserves, which caused banks to stop lending to each other overnight to support hedge funds and all types of leverage traders and stuff. And, and all of a sudden the Fed had to step in. So that's, oh, no big deal at first, just 60 billion to start, temporary crisis. Okay. Then at the end of December, you know, three and a half months later, it's at 380 billion going up at the speed of light, twice the pace of peak QE uh, into 2014. So the Fed's kind of trapped in this thing. They tried to taper, stop the big stimulus, the crack, I call it. And the market said, no, you didn't fix anything. Uh, we're still in debt. We still got debt problems, liquidity problems. We need this crack. So now here's the interesting thing. I'm monitoring this, Dave and I, every week now. Cause, cause the Fed says, but, but it's what they do that counts. And they actually tapered off a little bit. The repo slowed down, uh, since a peak at 424 billion in total. The repo part of that slowed down. Buying repos, buying T-bills, the other part. T-bills is same old kind of quantitative easing. Um, uh, both of these and buying bonds. Uh, all the things they do, the Fed, they're injecting money out of thin air, not into the banking system or not sending it to consumers or businesses. They're putting it into financial assets. So more money created out of nowhere, chasing the same financial assets would mean they all go up in value, but especially stocks. It always ends up, and my analysis has shown in the last year, always ends up the most in stocks. So what are the stock market doing since the Fed started this and, and, and ramped up? It, on a two-week lag, the stock market's gone straight up from early October into recently. Now it's pausing. Oh, well, that's starting to lag the peak um, amount, $424 billion as of mid-January, and now it's down to $396 billion. So repos have gone down. That's a good sign that the repo thing is settling out some, although that may be temporary, but they're still going straight up on the T-bills. And now their recent message is, oh, we're going to start doing $20 billion now in bonds, $60 billion in T-bills, and then whatever repos necessary in $30 billion increments. So that could still be $110 billion a month. But again, we're monitoring this. Would not be surprised, short-term cycle signals as well, that stocks back off a little bit with this backing off in the repo. But if repos start to accelerate and or the Fed comes through with its commitments of up to $80 billion a month, still way more than peak QE, then the market's going to keep going straight up unless there's some really bad news. So again, this is a quick message, most important thing happening. We're on the markets. Expect a potential small pullback into, say, early February or more, especially if this if we keep going sideways on this for now. And if it accelerates again, we will let you know because the markets are going to accelerate with it. So we'll keep you updated.